you have a great turn two play and a great turn three play that shoots down his great turn two play. Yeah. And not to the bone. Oh man. I like that Nod to the Bone implies you eat all the creatures in your graveyard, but you don't. Yeah, like, they're still there. They're you just, just gnaw them. You're just... Just chewing. Just chewing. Also, he didn't have a great turn to play. Yeah. Which I guess is great for us. Oh no, a dog. I know. His name is Sunstash, like the mustache, the sun? Correct. Oh, and you also have a Slayer of the Wicked, which is great. Yes. I actually think an interesting play would be to play out your ranger and block his dog. Why? Because that puts him... Like, you have the Slayer of the Wicked to deal with his interloper. Oh, because, like, then I time walk him? Yeah, you basically time walk him. And you're dealing with this wolf, which could get out of hand. Probably won't. I mean, like, he was stuck on mana before, and if he's spending his turn pumping his wolf, that's fine with me. Yeah. And also, it's a guy in your graveyard for your boneyard worm. Yeah, I mean, I see it, but I think I would rather just... Like, I have a rebuke. Yeah, but I also just think... Uh, I mean, either way, it's... I think I would rather just keep attacking him. Okay. And not have to spend mana to do it. Like, Fair enough. Like, remember playing with this guy? No, How I, bad I know. that feels? <laughs> okay. That's fine. Sure. Hey, maybe he'll pump his guy during the declare attacker step. Maybe. Yeah, your guy's gonna be a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, he's a howler now. Yeah. Great job. You know, for the aggro deck. Yeah, I know, see? It's because he's playing stuff like this. Fantastic removal. Like, do you just bell ringer just to... Oh, I forgot. You forgot. I just misclicked again. Ugh. That's just too bad. Like, you don't rebuke here, right? But you also don't want a bell ringer because it's past its prime. It's also not a big deal. Like, he's spending his whole turn doing this. Yeah. And you're, like, going to answer back for the same damage but yeah. not spend mana on it. Right. Like, this was not ideal, clearly, but I think it's fine. Okay. Like, maybe this prevented him from doing something. I don't think so. I just don't think he would have done it if he... Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. Why did that make you play Bell Ringer? Because it's the end of his turn now. Oh, okay. Yeah, get in there for one or two. That's fine. Are you gonna play a small boneyard worm? Because I'm thinking you shouldn't. Yeah. Well, why not? Oh, because um, he has a geist flame. Yeah, because he has a geist flame, and he's gonna use it on your howler. I hope so. And also, if he doesn't, and he pumps up his wolf again, I think you just rebuke.
make him use it twice, though. Alright. That's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to this. I hope this happens. It's probably not gonna happen. It's a pretty sad day for him if he's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't, in a way. In a way. Great. Now you have an excuse to play your Slayer. Sweet. Which is what you wanted. Yep. Oh, and you have a Cathar, but... That would kill my guy. I'm wondering if that's worth it. Like, he pumps up your Boneyard Worm. Oh. I could also see the argument for not. Yes, you want to do it. Um, I, yeah, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play the Cathar. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. That's understandable. Plus, you can always just do that later. Like, if you need to, if, like, you find that you want to cast Boneyard Worm or something. Right. Another Pariah. Okay. Oh, well, he just flipped your guy anyway. Yeah. Like, that's fine if he wants to do it. Yeah. It's really interesting that he did that before combat. Like... You probably wouldn't have blocked there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a better guy. <laughs> so I just attack him now? Now that no, I have you a play, mayor? Well, yeah, you play mayor first. And Cathar. Yeah, and then I just attack in. Yeah. Well, mm, hold on. So this is a 4-3... If you sack Cathar, then your Slayer will trade with both of his guys. That seems fine. I think I actually don't even play the Worm. No, I don't think you do. Well, post-combat, maybe. I could just give my guys plus two, plus two this turn. Oh, he wants to make this trade, huh? Maybe trade he has Geist Cathar. Flame, but that's fine. What do you mean you think he has Geist Flame? For Mayor, but that's okay. Yeah. Because he could just flash it back. Yeah. No, he couldn't flash it back in response. Well, he's tapped out right now anyway. Oh, he could flash it back to do the second point. Well, yeah. anyway, whatever. This is just happening. Yeah, if he wants to kill your Mayor, then fine. Yeah, he's going to do it. Your Mayor's pretty easy to kill. He has yeah. one card in hand. Like... Yep. Because you played Bump in the Night. Mm hmm. This makes him so sad because mm -hmm. he's playing Bump in the Night. Oh, oh no. What a Valderin. <laughs> Not even gonna attack with your wolf into my mayor? Okay. I mean, you have the rebuke as an answer, and then you mm -hmm. follow it up with a boneyard worm. It seems fine. Yeah. I mean, I think you just attack. Yeah. I wonder if you attack with the mayor, too. Like, he has five mana, he can't shoot and steal, even if he draws a land. Why would I attack into his 3-3, three, three, though. To get rid of it, so he couldn't steal it. But he can't do that, so I think you just attack with both these guys. Yeah. Also, if he wants to spend his whole turn doing this, he can flip the mayor for me. Yeah. Although, maybe I should let the mayor flip? No, because he can ping it in response. He can. Um, I actually think you play Boneyard Worm. Yeah, I think I do. Because he's down to three. And that also leaves your rebuke open. Yeah. It, not like he's going to attack, but... If he's crazy, he might. If he's crazy. So he can ping three guys. Three things. And make his Olivia arbitrarily large. Yep. 
But if your mare flips, well, he'll just ping your mare. That mm -hmm. makes your boneyard worm large. Makes everybody else smaller. This is a tough one. I mean, ultimately, maybe you shouldn't have played the boneyard worm. I think that's fine. You played him? Yeah. But, like, I think basically what you want to do here this is, This is like, a race at this point. Yeah, but, like, you can't attack into his Olivia. See what I'm saying? Maybe he'll attack me. Like, I don't think he can. I don't know. If he attacks into you, he's not only wrong, but kill him. Mm-hmm. Like what I'm saying, yeah, you see what I'm saying. Yes. Do you have a way to pump up your boneyard worm? Yes. Well, let's hope you draw it. I did not. Okay. Like, I think you just attack with both. And... Quickly. So that he thinks you have something. Why? Because I'd rather him, like, kill your boneyard worm, rather than steal it. You know? I think basically what you want to aim for right now is to get everything off the board so that he attacks you with Olivia. You mm -hmm. rebuke. And then like you start an you start anew. Yeah. Then you gnaw to the bone. I'm really happy he didn't draw that land. Yeah. Because that means you get to just trade. Okay. Yes, we understand Olivia's large. Worm vampire. What is he doing? He's pumping her up. Oh. Okay. Like, I guess he's going to attack with her. No, like, he can't block with the interloper. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's main phase doing. Do you think I gnaw now? No. No. I think you attack with your boneyard worm. And then just pass the turn. Because he has to block it with Olivia, which is great. This is why I was saying we should have held it off. But, who cares? Like, I don't... I just don't see how great this is. That was just, like... Yeah. Like, I mean, if we would have held that right. off, he would have attacked he earlier. We would have had a better follow-up. But, so now we just do nothing? Yeah. I think we just do nothing. Let him attack into our rebuke. Maybe he's just going to attack with a vampire interloper because he's wise to us. Mm hmm In which case, I think we nod to the bone. Yeah. Just to show him we're serious. I think... Well, like, at end of turn. Yeah. <laughs> Just show them we mean business. Alright. We'll do it again, too. Like, do we have a second rebuke? Yes. Just sucks because, like, we can't. <laughs> yeah. We, like, have to make him attack, and I just don't think he's going to. Like, he has no reason to. And we have no way to kill Olivia. Yep. So, like... Yep, this is bad. Like, do we literally have no answer? Because maybe we should just concede and go to game three. Like, what do you think? I mean, if he never attacks with her, then we literally have no answer. That, okay. 